who's bringing the markets down and uh, what is really happening on the NSC? Um, a, a bit of profit taking for the guys who have made some, some gains uh, during this time, if they can actually sell out, because liquidity has been a problem in the, in the market. Um, but generally, all the stocks that seem like they shot up a bit, uh, your Mumias, your Atriva Mining, National Bank, and, and your Barclays, and um, all those other counters that just shot up for no fundamental reason, are now t seeming to start aging back downwards. If we can begin by looking at Cooperative Bank, which uh, traded lower today, what's bringing the stock down? Because we've been seeing the financials uh, sort of rising um, as people wait for the reports to come out from next week. What's happening to the Coop Bank counter? For, for Coop, basically, that would be more of profit taking because there's nothing fundamentally wrong with the company. Um, I think guys are just trying to curb some uh, losses, take some profit, then move back into the counter. Uh, because even if you look at most of your indexes, actually it says the counter has been oversold. So we expect a rebound to start going back upwards. Kenjen is on the news again today, still on the, um, and it's got an expansion, a rapid expansion program with a high demand um, currently within the Kenyan space alone. How are you looking um, at this particular counter, looking at they've invested, they've, you know, they've put their weight behind back the equities and the bonds front as well? Um, the Dea Monopoly, definitely the results will continue coming in good. Uh, they're trying to cover the, the supply shortage that is actually there uh, before other countries actually do that. Because the danger of the electricity, if Ethiopia is in excess, they'll pass over into Kenya. If Tanzania is in excess, they'll pass over into Kenya, now eating into their market share. So the, the expansion program at least will help them sustain their income and their revenue. Now with the market going down as, as, as we are seeing it, 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 could, it could also mean that it's a time for investors to look into uh, cheap stocks. Are you looking in that direction and what are you looking at? Um, yes, that's true. If, if you look at most of the, the indicators, like your, your money flow index, your relative strength index, shows that most counters actually have been, some of the counters have been oversold and some of the counters have been overbought. Um, the best time now is trying to pick the counters that actually have been oversold. You're looking at your, your cooperative bank, you're looking at your, your kennel core bill. All of those counters are, are looking like now they've been oversold, it's time for them to start picking up. So personally, if I would pick two right now, pick cooperative and kennel core bill. When we spoke earlier, you said uh, you're seeing a sight of a bust, of, a, of the bubble that we saw in, in January. Could you elaborate that for us? And uh, what are you telling investors? Um, in, in essence, people are very optimistic this year. But uh, the optimism has been a bit misplaced, especially when it comes to the equities market. Because guys are now expecting good results from banks, companies, and, and stuff like that. But we need to understand that the results that are going to be released in this coming earnings season, season here in February and March, are actually results of what happened last year. So I, I believe many people will be actually disappointed because the results that are coming are based on factors that prevailed in 2009. They are results of the operating period for 2009 and not 2010.